Hi, I'm Vanessa, and this is my TED Talk on the book Stiff by Mary Roach. I thought it was a very interesting book. Very intriguing. Here we go. How is this book structured? Each chapter is organized by topic. And what are the chapters? The chapters are about dead bodies and their use in history, how people have learned from them. It is not in chronological order. She kind of jumps back and forth through. An example I'm thinking of is in chapter four. She talks about people using dead bodies to drive, which is not exactly from the 1700s, but in chapter 10, Eat Me, she she refers to ancient Egypt people that would put dead bodies in coffins and use them as medicine. Her introduction helped me understand about what her purpose was. And her purpose is about teaching us about how dead bodies had a, have had a purpose in how we do stuff now or how we learn from them. Her audience is us, her readers. She uses mostly a lot of Logos ideas. A lot of logic is put. I think that's what Logos is. Oh boy, I need her. Logos. She uses a lot of logic throughout her book and she she delivers her message educationally more than anything. She's talking about, well, she's teaching us about how dead bodies have had a use. And she uses a lot of outside resources. Like, she's visited a lot of places for research in her book. She's visited medical schools, institutions, and some research facilities for her research in this book. She, in her autobiography, she lists a lot of places she went. It is a good book. I learned a lot about how dead bodies serve a purpose and how, like, how much of a, like, an impact they really do have on us. It was a very, very interesting book. I was intrigued the entire way through learning new things that I would have never learned before. My only criticism is it's a book. I don't like books. <laughs> I'm not a reader. But it kept me interested, so I think that it did its job. It's an interesting topic. Not many books catch my attention, and this one did. And I think I, if I wouldn't have read it for this project, I would eventually have read it. People who like gore stuff is really who this book is for. People who aren't afraid to learn from people learning of, from dead bodies. It's kind of a touchy subject, I guess. I don't, I don't know. But if you aren't afraid of dead bodies, you're gonna like this book. It's kind of like an, an outside of the box idea. Not many people like even want to think about dead bodies. So the fact that she went out to places and saw and learned from other people to write this book is interesting to say the least. My favorite chapter that I want to, that I really want to talk about is chapter seven, Holy Cadaver. This chapter is about dead bodies involvement in religion and it really captured my attention because I already think that not all but a good percentage of religious people are kind of crazy and this guy wanted to figure out how old JC died where his hands were like put on the on the cross and a lot of people like volunteered their bodies to his research. They wanted to understand old JC's pain. Creepy. And in chapter 10, Eat Me, like I said before, these Egyptians, they would eat honey flavored people and they'd put it on, and they'd use it as medicine. What? Chapter 12 kind of interested me the most and it because Roach talks about how she, what she wants done with her body 
and she wants to be plastinated. She wants people to see and learn from her brain, like by looking at it physically. Beyond the Black Box, Chapter 5 is another one that intrigued me. It's about plane crash victims' corpses and how people researched these corpses to figure out how the plane crash happened. Chapter 1 was another interesting one. It's called A, a Herbal... A, oof, a Head is a Terrible Thing to Waste. And it's about her visitations to these medical schools and how people would use decapitated heads to practice surgery on. And a good question she asks that is kind of creepy is who decapitates these heads? Anyway, so that's kind of my take on the book. I enjoyed it. I think that this is a great book to keep on the list. It's just a different topic that I probably would have never thought of. So overall, 10 out of 10.